Installation of ceiling floor unit. Installation location selection. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of split ceiling floor air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. There is heat source or steam source near the installation position. There are obstacles which block the air circulation near the installation position. There is fume or droplet near the installation position. Being too close to combustible objects such as curtain, clothing and other movable items. Position which is within 1 meter, 40 inches, far away from television, stereo or other household appliances. Position where flammable explosive or corrosive gas may leak. Preparation Preparation of installation tools. During the installation, the following tools may be used. Pipe preparation. Cut the suitable length of copper pipe as required. Turn pipe cutter slowly and keep increasing force gradually. Make sure there is no deformation, cut surface should be level. Put the open of pipe downward and remove burr inside with a scraper. Use rubberized fabric to wrap copper pipe head or use a cap to seal the pipe to prevent foreign materials from entering. Sheath the insulating tube. You should add glue between two insulation tubes if one is not long enough to avoid the condensation. Sleeve the nut. Pipe expanding. Make pipe socket for copper pipe with pipe expander. Firmly hold copper pipe in a die in the dimensions shown in the table. Fix flaring tools. Turn the handle clockwise and stop it when it rattles. Turn the handle counterclockwise and remove the tool. Pipe socket should be level, uniform and free of crack. Wire stripping. Select applicable wire according to rated current value. Two common specifications are shown in the figure. Strip rubber skin at both ends of connecting wire separately to uncover the connecting wire. Use wire stripper to strip wire core. The length of naked core should be around 10 mm, 0.5 inches. Installation of main body. Ceiling suspended. When installed, the indoor unit should keep minimum distance to surrounding objects. Determine the installation positions and the pipe exit direction. Pull out the fasteners of the grill and release the screws inside. Then remove the grills. Release the screws for fixing the side panel, pat it upwards a little, then remove the side panel. Measure the dimensions of the hanging groove holes and confirm the positions of holes for suspending bars. Drill four holes with a diameter of 12 mm, 0.5 inches, and depth of 45 to 50 mm, 2 inches, at the confirmed positions on the ceiling. Then embed the expansible hooks. Install the suspending bars. Note, face the concave side of the installation hooks towards the expansible hooks. Determine the length of installation bars from the height of ceiling. Make sure the distance between the unit and ceiling is no more than 20 mm, 0.9 inches. Drill the wall hole. Determine the wall hole position according to the exit pipe direction and the expected installation position of outdoor unit. Avoid wires and other foreign materials inside and on the wall. Attention should be paid that the inside of hole should be about 10 mm, 0.5 inches higher than the outside for good drainage. The position of wall hole should be a little lower than the lower side of the unit. Drill the wall hole. The diameter should be at least 90 mm for unit size lower than 24,000 BTU, 7.1 kilowatts, and 105 mm for unit size higher than 36,000. 10.5 kilowatts. Put on the wall socket. Lift indoor unit. Insert suspending bars into hanging groove holes at both sides of the indoor unit. Adjust the nuts of the four bars to make sure that the main body remains level with a leveling tool. Pipe connection. Bind the connection pipes and wires together with wrapping tape. Wrapping is conducted in order where power wire and signal wire are at the upper side 
connecting pipe is at the lower side based on the approach to exit pipe and do not pull serpentine pipe hard during wrapping. The drain pipe should be sheathed in insulating pipe for thermal insulation to avoid condensation and leakage on the outer surface of drain pipe. Open the reserved positions for connection pipes and drain pipes with a pair of pincers and remove the burr to avoid the pipes are damaged. Lead the connection pipes and wires through the wall hole and into the unit. Note that do not damage the insulation layer. The wires should go inside the unit through the wire hole with a rubber protector. Remove the protecting nut of the copper pipe. The cone should be vertical to top pipe socket. Two wrenches is used to fasten the nut after the connecting nut is screwed to the bottom of bolt with hand and loosen it moderately after tightening for further tightening. Firstly, connect the high pressure pipe, then the low pressure pipe. Wiring. Make the wiring work strictly as the diagram shows. Release two screws to remove the cover of the electrical box. Connect the power cable and communication cable to relative terminals. Note that the L, N sequence of power wires and terminal. About the communication, S1 and S2 are without polarity, but the cable must be shielded, one and the shell should be earthed. Release the fixing screws and take down the cable pressing pad. Arrange the cables well through the gap of the box and press them with the pad and use screws to fix it. Make sure that the connection will not be pulled. Close the electrical box cover and fix it with screws. Connection of drain pipe. An extra pipe connector should be repaired if there is no drain hose in the accessories. Add some glue on the drain outlet of the unit to avoid leakage and put on the drain connector which in a diameter is 25 millimeters. Add some glue on the drain pipe and insert it into the drain connector. Make the insulation tube covered with the whole drain pipe as well as the drain connector. To prevent water from flowing backwards into the air conditioner while the air conditioner stops, please lean the drain pipe down toward outdoor outlet side at a degree of over 1 one-hundredth. Set up a supporting point on the pipe at intervals of 1 to 1.5 meters, 40 to 60 inches, to prevent the drain pipe from bending because of gravity. If drain pipe is in over length, it is required to add vent hole at certain intervals to ensure for smooth drainage. The end of the drain pipe shall not directly touch the ground. Leak detection. When outdoor unit is installed and vacuum work is finished, open both valves of outdoor unit and let the refrigerant go into indoor unit. The two connectors of gas pipe and liquid pipe should be checked if there is any gas leakage. Leak detector detection. Probe moves around two connectors at slow and uniform speed of two to five centimeters a second. And the probe is kept at the length of one millimeter to five millimeters. 0.04 to 0.2 inches away from the connectors. It turns one lap around valve ports of high pressure valve and low pressure valve respectively. If leak alarm occurs, remove probe for retesting and confirmation. Soapy water detection. Apply soapy water. Washing powder is inapplicable of high concentration to all interfaces of nuts with brush. Then observe it for two to three minutes. Repeat this as needed. If bubbles emerges, leakages exist in the system, nut should be tightened further. Cover the connectors with insulation tube and band them with banding tape. Arrange the pipe work well and make sure the drain pipe slope downward. Install the side panels back and fix them with screws. Install the grills back and fix them with screws. Test running. Use remote controller to check if all the functions are normal. 
Turn the unit to cooling mode and check where the drain water is discharged well. Treat the drain pipe well. Seal the wall hole to avoid outside air and other objects into room. Wall mounted. Determine the positions of hanging bolts of the units. Drill four holes with a diameter of 12 mm, 0.5 inches, and depth of 45 to 50 mm, 2 inches, at the confirmed positions on the ceiling. Then embed the expansible bolts. Lift indoor unit and insert hanging bolts into hanging groove holes at both sides of the indoor unit. Put on the check washers and nuts. Fix the nuts with a tool. Put the side panel back and put the grills back.